Hethels. A big thank you to our hosts, uh, John and Trudy Hethels Pace. This is their property here, and we're um, delighted to be out there. And to the uh, members of the media, um, thank you. Thank you for coming out. We're all very excited. We've got the opportunity to share with you what is essentially a next step, a big step for Vodafone. We're looking to provide our customers with the smartest network in New Zealand in terms of coverage, in terms of speed, in terms of what it does. Uh, with me today is Tony Baird, who is the person behind running our network, building our network, maintaining our network. So all the tricky questions you can absolutely <laughs> talk to, Tony. But what um, we're here today, you would have seen with, um, on our website, we announced Shore Signal, which is all about these little devices here and about providing coverage solutions for our customers, and I'll allow Tony to take you into any detail. What I'd like to do is to give you just a bit of a background as to what, how that fits into the overall smart network strategy. Uh, before I do that, um, in order for us to show you how it all works, what I need to do is one thing, which shouldn't be too much of a hassle, and that is to actually turn off your cell phones. Not just mute them, but turn them off. So when we go to show you how it all works, then you can turn it back on. That's so. so if you've got a phone, we could all do something we really do, something you'll never hear me ask anyone to do, <laughs> so we're the only company that loves interruptions on cell phones, but just turn off your phone. Essentially, um, if you look at our business, then the basic commodity that we have, the basic promise we make to our customers, is you can make a phone call. And we deliberately chose to come over to Bethel's here because by a helicopter, you get a view of just some of the small challenges. In New Zealand, it's not flat. Uh, it's not densely populated either. So in a relative sense, it's always been an ongoing challenge to build out the network. And while we cover 97% of where people live, work and play, it actually equates to about 40% geographical coverage. And we're very proud of our network and where it is, and what it can do, but there are always areas, whether they be in urban areas, rural areas where there are pockets where you can't get into, ourselves, for that matter, two degrees telecom. And that's often where shore signal comes in and it plays a part. So today that's what we want to talk to you about. It's part of an overall program. You know, we're, we're driving out something like we built 60 cell sites last year, we're built a whole lot more this year. You know, we're delighted to be shortlisted for negotiations with the government to essentially build towers upon which ourselves, telecom, two degrees, Cordia for that matter, can put wireless gear out there to expand the footprint right out. I think you'd agree with me, when you look at places like this, you know, it is very cost effective, even for the non-technical, non-financial, to realise that wireless coverage is probably a whole lot better than driving out fibre or any other sort of point-to-point -point matter in these areas. So we drive out coverage. Um, speed of the network. You know, today we have the network in the CBD of Auckland few sites there now capable of doing a maximum speed of 42 megabits a second. Uh, that is the fastest speed in New Zealand. And we'll look to expand that out into other areas over this coming year. It's all about providing a better experience for our customers. Now when I was in the US just recently, and you can go and check it out on your website, um, that means we've got 4G. AT&T today have a 4G network in the US, so does T-Mobile. So does our own sister company Verizon. Slightly different technologies, but if you look at 3G HSPA, and we're happy to, the guys can provide you the reference to the ITU definition, a lot of the American carriers are calling it 4G. I was quite surprised. I thought, wow, we've got that. <laughs> so when I come back home and saw the discussions about 4G, I thought, what an interesting fact to share with you all. But actually, in fact, based on what the American carriers are doing, you know, 4G is available from Vodafone here in New Zealand today and rolling out progressively. So speed is an important part of it. And then the other part of it is how you bring it all together. And that's something which we'll probably talk to you a lot about over the coming months is, you know, how do you deliver a great service to your customers? In voice, it's pretty easy. You know, your voice call, your voice call, your voice call, it's all the same. And when you talk, some of us talk fast, some of us talk slow, but essentially it's all the same. When you're talking about the mobile internet or the internet, we're talking about data, you know, your email, different from your email if you've got a video clip, if you're going to a local site or an offshore site, it's very different. 
So we need to build into the network the ability to handle all those aspects and provide you the best customer experience. We call it in our industry quality of service. And you'll see over time us figuring out and introducing a lot of capability into the network. When you think about quality of service, what I'm really talking about and where it really comes to life is on smartphones. And that's again where we're pushing very hard. Over the recent Christmas period, we were very excited by our lineup of smartphones. You know, we drove the price point way down to 199, which was the entry level smartphone. We are still the only authorised network that has the Apple iPhone. We don't have it exclusive, but it's the only authorised network in New Zealand, which tells you something about Apple's view of what we're doing. And in the Google Android space, you know, without a doubt, we had the best range of devices over Christmas. And so we enjoyed a significant lift. IDC just said that you know, right now there's more smartphones in the world shipping than there are PCs, laptops. Very significant for what the future holds. So you bring it all together, it's about building a smart network, which coverage is your basic commodity. We need to crank up the speeds all the time. It's not so much about absolute speed, but with that comes the ability to make that experience as good as it can be. And you marry that with smart devices, and we see a very exciting future, whereby certainly it's my view that the PC of the future, the laptop of the future, is a pad or a smartphone. And I think that's very obvious from what you're doing. And a part of that is, so how do you bring it all to life in areas where you can get DSL coverage into, or even for that matter, fibre coverage, but you don't have the cellular network working. And that's where this little device, which is a Pepto cell, which goes under the microphone <laughs> name of, of Shore Signal, comes in, and with that I'll just hand over to Tony, who can tell you all about what that's about. Tony. Okay, thanks very much, Russ. Thanks for having us out here today. I think everybody appreciates the lovely view. Um, but out here there was no coverage. Um, so this product, um, I've been with Vodafone now for seven months, and this product was one of the reasons I was very interested in taking the job. With this I see a lot of the true evolution of fixed mobile convergence coming together. Um, with fibre being rolled out, with high speed broadband, with high speed data on the wireless networks and with products like this, you're starting to see the fixed and mobile networks coming together. We have about um, 1,400 south sites across the country for a population of 4.2, 4.3 million. In the UK, for instance, 3G south sites, you've got about 7,000 south sites, 3G south sites, uh, for a significantly higher population, but they still have greater coverage. Our demographics, as such, with hills, um, there's going to always be spots where you're not going to have uh, adequate 3G coverage. So this product, I see filling in a lot of those gaps. The gaps in rural areas for rural applications where you want wireless coverage on the farm and also in urban areas where you're in buildings and apartment blocks, basements and the likes where there is poor coverage. I'll just tell you a little bit about how it works. Um, there are two devices. This is the enterprise um, version and this is the consumer version. Uh, basically, you take this box, you take it out of its box, you plug it into the power supply, you plug it into your um, DSL router and uh, switch it on and within uh, a wee while it's all running. It's as simple as that. Um, you'll see your, your phone system go from zero coverage or reduced coverage up to five bars and in a few minutes we'll be demonstrating that. From the DSL network, it runs back over the Vodafone DSL network, and um, that is one of the requirements of this product. And, and the reason we're saying Vodafone DSL uh, is because we want to control the quality of experience, and we're also going to zero rate the data that travels over this. So you're not paying twice for the, for the privilege of having that. You've got your DSL zero rated, and then you can use it for your wireless co connectivity. So as you travel back through the network, through that DSL network, you go through uh, to our exchange uh, in Auckland and we have what's called a fem to cell controller. It's effectively a base station controller in the cellular terms and it controls all of these devices. When you um, register, the IP address goes through and will communicate with our system and say yes, it's a valid customer. Then you've got a second level of security which is obviously you have to be a Vodafone mobile customer. So we have two levels of security and two levels of ability to manage that quality of service for you. Um, these, as we've said, have been uh, launched on the web and today's our above the line launch. 
the um, price for the consumer version is going to be $399, although for the next month through the 15th of March we're going to have it for, um, sorry, $349, sorry. Uh, we're going to be selling it for $99, so that's a um, launch release price, and the um, Enterprise is $899. The difference in the two uh, is power, so the uh, Enterprise will go for double the, the range, up to around 40 metres, and this is around 20 metre range. Also, this supports four concurrent cell, uh, four concurrent cell calls, and it can handle eight concurrent cell calls. So when we do turn it on in a minute, don't all dive on or find it. <laughs> maybe if we stagger it just a little bit. Um, yeah, so basically um, that's the main announcements around the product. I think you're going to have a couple of... Um, what about the future? Oh, the future for this? Um, this we're looking at other access technologies, so as we roll out more... Um, cell sites, we're looking at whether we can connect this via a reduced cell site coverage, so you get a, a, um, an antenna that you put on the side of the building that will bring in the signal and boost this. We're also looking at uh, launching it over satellite, so for true rural customers you can get um, coverage right out in the uh, rural areas. And um, these devices also are evolving, so they're looking at having greater range uh, and also an outdoor unit, so you can have a limited coverage around the farm or other, other areas. So three models of this, we have two here today, the third one uh, is in transit, and we haven't released it yet, and also other forms of connectivity into the network other than the DSL connection over the uh, fixed network. The other thing, uh, just to mention relative to Bethel's, um, you know, we Pimp those cells here, and for this, Trudy and John for their property, they needed it. They'll talk about why they've got it. Um, but we also are actually in the process of getting approved a big cell site for one of these hills. I'm not sure which one to try and improve the coverage. So that's just to make the point: this is not about not building the macro network. We're always trying to build it out. But as you'd appreciate, whenever you go out to beautiful locations like this, as I mentioned to some of you, there's often as many people who do not want the coverage as people who want the coverage. So it's always a challenge to drive out into some of these places, particularly if they're anywhere near part of the conservation land. That becomes a real challenge to build the macro coverage. But for Bethels, there's a process going now to build a cell site to try and get approved for one of the hilltops around here. And once we get that approved, the uh, little surf tower down there will have a repeater station put on it. Actually, it's surf club down there. Surf club down there. Yeah. And the reason is because, if you remember back, um, you know, Sunny Five, the Vodafone Warriors lost his life out here. The coroner's report, as it said on a few occasions, said if he had had access quicker to telecommunications or you know, cell calls, maybe, just maybe, it would have helped them. So we're always looking to figure out ways to make that happen. So, um, yeah. So, um, John and Trudy, would you like to give a little bit of a synopsis of how you found it? Well, um, 